This is Hayesville, North Carolina, just a hoot and a holler across the Georgia state line. And right back there is Wayne Phillips Grocery Store. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon, and that's the time when things begin to start happening. In the back of Wayne's General Store is an old-time pickin' parlor. Anybody who comes by and wants to play just goes to it. Red Ledford came in about 10 minutes ago. He started playing and Wayne took advantage of the situation to do a bit of the old buck and wing. How often do you do that around here? About once a day is about enough for a 39-year-old man. <laughs> <laughs> 39. Uh, yeah. <laughs> About that time, Fred Swanson walked in. He was up from Atlanta visiting the family, was driving by and heard the music. He parked and came to pick. After a minute or two of tuning, they went to it. Wayne took advantage of the situation to do some more buck dancing. Is this an excuse to run a grocery store, or is the grocery store an excuse to come back here and pick and dance? It's mostly an excuse to get the crowd and enjoy life. We enjoy this. On a rainy day, sometimes we have six or seven musicians, and they all, sometimes 25 or 30 here, and they're having a big time including me. <laughs> Curtis Moore was next door at the hardware store. He asked what was going on at Wayne's. The clerk told him about the ruckus, so he grabbed his paper bag and hot-footed it for a piece of the picking. Wayne, of course, took advantage of the situation to do some more buck dancing. this happen? It's like Wayne said, just about every day, whenever it will. It isn't planned, it just happens. The room is there, the instruments are there, and the pickers just seem to come. And Wayne, he just sits back and waits to take advantage of the next situation to do some buck dancing. This is Andy Johnston. On down